this morning good hi hi good morning so Don and I were trying to remember if we had returned his library yeah. book in a pandemic world let's just say there's complications Basically, apparently we returned, we returned it and we don't remember, remember we returned it anyway I was out there Jules is pulled out. We're headed to town. Yep. And I tried to get into Jules and mm -hmm. I couldn't get in because I can't switch to Jules on my phone and there's no way I'm reaching in my purse to get out my key card or I'm going to be spitting mad. Yeah, she doesn't do so that. So Jules, I cannot switch to Jules in the app. So I came in the house oh, and kidding. I smiled at Don and I sat down in here while he was finishing up in the library catalog on his computer and then... Don re-entered his password to Tesla and went in and he got a message that Jules has been removed from his account. Yeah. I can't get in Jules either. <laughs> not without the key card anyway. Well, so I, key card. I guess we, well, I do too, but I'm not pulling it out of my purse. That's like an emergency right. only thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so if we're going to log into Tesla. I'm sure it's just some sort of a computer glitch, but um, yeah. that wasn't something we were expecting no. to have to deal with right now. Right. I and I'm going to put up a picture of Don's screen. He took a screenshot yeah. so you can see exactly what it said. Yeah, that's right. Well, Don can still see Jules in our Tesla.com yeah. account. But it really hasn't changed. Right, it doesn't. It still looks like it's waiting for us to do steps versus that we did the steps yeah, we then, did. To look at it, you wouldn't think we took delivery yet. Right, but I think there's a documents folder that has the delivery yeah, documents that's very in it. Possible. But so I called and talked to a really helpful person at yeah. Tesla Raleigh. Yeah. I admit that I went to sales and not service because this is really a post-sale sort of a yeah. follow-up thing. I felt fairly. And um, I put on my full Southern charm. Yeah, I did. did not even come close to bringing out the Jersey girl because, no. you know, after all three years plus of Tesla That's ownership, right. you get a lot more being kind than not kind. Yeah. And you should always treat people, start, certainly start out treating people with kind. And, and they were great. Talk to the delivery manager. They're in the process of moving some documents, documents. around. And they expect it to be added back here shortly. And um, if it's not added back by this time tomorrow, to give them another call. Right. And that's what we're going to do. Meanwhile, yeah. Don, even Don had to pull the key card out yeah. of his wallet because he's been using his phone to get in the car. So That's right. But um, I, I feel bad if that happened to a brand new Tesla yeah, owner. Yeah, that would be kind of... I, I feel bad, but... Um, you know, the card is always going to work. The phone may not work if the car and you don't have LTE. So make sure you don't go anywhere without your card. You right. should have your card in your wallet even if you're not using it. You never know when there could be an LTE outage. That's right. And we're not locked out of our car or we're anything. We can still drive it. Yes, so no we're reason good. to get bent out of shape. No and uh, we're, we're back to trying to leave again 30 minutes later after looking right. up the library book and researching the uh the, i'm glad it's, it's a good thing for don it wasn't just i couldn't get into the car <laughs> i may have given him the hairy eyeball for just a half oh, a yeah. second That's about a, why had, can i not get into your car <laughs> i swear i didn't do any i'm innocent <laughs> so don and i have moved down the driveway away in the shade and uh we want to test something i was reading the model y owners club facebook group this morning and at least two people said their rear behind the console usb-c ports are not working i believe both of them are trying to charge an apple phone um don had bought me a usb-c to lightning cable um from Amazon that I'm using in Ruby because we have that um, anchor device plugged into the 12 volt and that has a C 
um, USB-C. So I've actually switched to using that cable over there. So I'm going to plug it in because I don't think we've tested ours yet. And A, try to find out if they work and especially try to find out if they work with Apple devices. So there's the cable plugged in, in the back behind the console. And I have now plugged the same cable into my phone and it started charging right away. So that's the left side. I'm going to move it to the right side. Um, just to make sure but I would say our ports are active and our ports work so Don's unplugging it for me you can actually reach these better than you can in Ruby so this would be one for the Model Y and it stopped charging and it stopped charging and started charging again so we're good both our ports are actively charging my iPhone no problem so I will update those people on the on the Facebook group because I told them I would test it for them. So Marianne just tried a USB-C to Apple cable on a uh, cable that I got from Amazon. We also have a USB type A to iPhone lightning cable and I'm going to do it with a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Okay and so we're going to try that and plug it into the back. And then we're going to plug it into her phone. And I don't think not so. charging. Not charging. Yep, not charging. Not, not, now I'm going to plug it into the other one. And not charging. Okay. Now, it can take a second or two, but by the time, I mean, it's definitely by now it would have kicked in, so yeah. not charging. Okay, now I'm going to plug it in underneath the dash up here into the one that, these are data, the USB-C with data. And it's yeah, hard we're going to put, be putting an LED light up there because we cannot charging. see. Yeah, Don felt the vibration, the little battery symbol's green. It has the little lightning bolt through it now, yeah. so we're good. So... You have to probably are not going to be able to use a USB type A because this only has four wires. It has the plus five volts, the ground, and two data wires. I don't know what microchip is in this connector, but there's actually a little microchip in the Apple end is my understanding. It is looking for the between the, the microchip, the phone, and the four data wires. It's looking for something. A handoff, some a sort handshake. of a handshake. Just, just call it a, a handshake. handshake. I think that's the word. So I think that if you use a USB Type C, which is what Marianne sh uh, she grabbed that red cable because. I zipped it up in okay. my purse already. Trust me, it's a USB Type C. C to, to Apple Lightning. Not the connector, so it doesn't go through this four pin conversion process. Right. Um, I do think the two people asking on Facebook both had C to Lightning just like I tested, and their ports are just dead. Right. I do. They didn't. They said specifically they had bought a new C to Lightning cable just like you did. Right. And it didn't work back there for them, and it works back there for us. Right. So I think, as long as it's an Apple certified cable, I really think their problem is is that their jacks are not working properly. Yeah, well, I think this is this adapter is not a true USB 3.0. Uh, in other words, this is converts C to USB A, like I said, but not. It doesn't have the extra pins if you've looked at them you've seen them they're blue um i i've had this for a really long time so i do not it's not new it's technology not, so this goes from three to two uh so or 3.1 to two um they probably have these that do 3.1 to 3 .0. So they this normally typically. This so you're blue. saying that if you had a brand new one of these, that was the newer technology, it would probably work. That's what I'm saying. But these older ones are not working. Are not working. Okay. Yeah, to go along with the little mystery about why the car is not in the app today, we also have for the first time now our delivery appointment <laughs> showing up in our car. But of course, 
the car is already delivered. Yeah. And that is interesting. There's that um, history log that you can get in the Model Y and I assume the Model 3 with the little um, yield looking sign there. Yes, and that's still... I thought maybe Jules was back in the app, but it's not. Jules did put on 2020.28.6 last night. Um, I got notified and I let the install go on. And this is just a dot release. This is just a bug fix. It's the same things. Um, she told us she had put on at the prior version, which was either 28.5 or 28.4. I could look it up and testify. No new stuff this time, just bug fixes. So all that said, we're headed to Home Depot. <laughs> Don will give us an update on the project. Uh, not going to be able to finish the garage light automation today. Well, I'm going to work a little bit more on the, the test bench wiring of it, finish that up, but I'm not going to install it into the box in the wall. Uh, the permanent installation will not occur today. In fact, it can't happen probably until the weekend um, weekend uh, yeah uh, i ordered something from uh, amazon and i need that to get here before um i tr i'm gonna try to tear into that box well you said that something you ordered they don't have at our local home depot That's it's right. a five game a five game box. box yeah so it's not like we could pick up that part at home depot we right. we need it to come from somewhere and Amazon was easy. They've gotten rid of the wait in line, can't enter the garden center stuff. I told Don we have to go through the garden center. <laughs> he loves to go to the garden center. I just see holes every time. Holes and money. Curcuma flowering ginger. I can't say that I've ever seen this plant before and I would not be motivated to pay $13 and it only be an annual here, but it's pretty. The security and surveillance display. Huh. Four gang box, no five gang box. They have ring stuff here, but there's not one Amazon device, all Google devices. And of course, ring is Amazon now, but no, they used to have Alexa in here. Uh, there's Don's big purchase for the day. Yeah, copper uh, crimp sleeves. Allow you, instead of using wire nuts on ground wires and things like that, you could just bundle them up and put a crimp on it. Uh, some of those, bo that box I'm gonna be messing with Put, there's a lot of ground wires and it's easier to crimp them together than to put a wire net on. Well, that looks like a great workbench if you're a pirate. Maybe just in time for somebody's Halloween display. Ooh, glad to get that mask off. Yeah, Don's gonna let me go into Walmart so I'm not taking mine off. Not right. yet. Yeah. Still a no. Had to look, you know. The Lego area is really kind of empty. It has some really nice succulents marked down. Tropical plants. There's not a lot in the garden center. So there's one of the new postal service vans in action, delivering mail in town. I've got dinner prep to go. I've been practicing my piano. Don is um, working on the test board. Yep. Still making sure he's got things the way he wants them before he gets ready to do the wall this weekend. Yep. So I've um, got my two three-way switches wired in with my little light fixture. And this, there's no smart control here. This is just your classic, you know, three-way switch, you know, that you've got and seen all your life. This is just straight electric wire. Now, I'm going to unplug it, and I'm going to add the smart. I'm going to, remember I talked about the travelers and those kinds of things and all that stuff. So 
So now I'm going to take my little gizmo and wire it into this circuit here. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad he understands what right. he's doing because well, I don't understand it. Well, I mean, uh, yes, I know about the three-way switches and how right. they work from an end user perspective. But. Well, first of all, there's a couple different ways you can do a three-way depending on where you're feeding the light from and where you're getting your power from. The, the, the line from the um, panel comes into your box and then there's another line that eventually goes up to your light fixture. Okay those two lines, which of the two possible locations uh, they go to, to affects how you wire things, okay? This, I have to say, is a, the simpler one because there's on, there is the light fixture and the line from the power uh, panel both come into one box. Uh, in other words, this one of the three-way switches has the line that goes to the light fixture and has the line that's fed from the power panel. It has another wire that travels over to the remote switch, the secondary switch, or whatever you want to call that switch on the other side, that basically just has three wires and a ground. It has a red, a white, and a black, uh, and uh, the ground wire. So anyway, uh, that is how I've wired that up. So the box that we're in the far corner, it only has a wire coming to that three-way switch. Uh, it doesn't feed the lamp, nor does it feed or draw power from the box. And this is what I said before. That far remote box does not have an a neutral end. It's switching the hot wire between the two travelers is how it works. So there's no neutral in that remote corner. So I have to put the little gizmo in the box with the neutral, because I need a neutral. It's news to me that there's a switch in that corner yeah. because the, on the, the only one I ever use is this one. Yeah. Hey you, it's guacamole time. I need my seat. 